Hello students, my name is Dimple Haseen and in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about the different types of systems that we are going to make or study in software engineering. Starting with number one is physical, physical or abstract systems. What is physical system? Physical system is the one that consists or that comprises of tangible entities. Tangible are the one that we could see, feel and touch, right? And that may be static or dynamic in nature. Now, when we talk about static or dynamic, I'll explain with a simple example. Suppose there is a computer center and they, it has number of offices, it has chairs, it has desks that will facilitate the computers to operate properly. Now these offices, chairs and desks can be counted. So what is a computer system and its parts? It is static in nature. That is, they are not changing with time. Now let's talk about what is dynamic system. What is dynamic nature of a system? Example is a computer program. A computer program may consist of inputs and output, different inputs and outputs. Now, but this computer system will change according to the user's requirement. That is an example of dynamic systems, dynamic physical system. Any website we are logging into, right? It changes from time to time as the user's uh, user need. For example, we open the Google normal Google page. We type there something. And we get every time we type something different, we get different result. That is dynamic in nature. Then comes the abstract systems. Abstract systems are basically conceptual or non-physical entities. They may be as straightforward as a formula of relationship among different variables or mod models. Basically, the abstract conceptualization of it physical situations. The use of these models will make it easier for any analyst to visualize relationship in system under study. Example is our laws of force, Newton's laws of force. Then there are Einstein laws. There is integration laws. There are differentiation laws in maths. All these are stated bodies that are used to solve different problems. That is an example of abstract systems. Then moving to open or closed systems. And open system is basically the one that has it also. Okay. Then it also receives inputs from the other system and delivers outputs to the outside. Vice versa, input is also taken, output is also given out. And information system, any type of information system falls into this category as it must adapt to the changing demands of the users. Then comes the closed system. A closed system is the one that is isolated from the environmental influences. In reality, a completely closed system does not exist. In reality, there is no system which will have no input and output movement across its boundaries. Then let's talk about the adaptive and the non-adaptive systems. Adaptive systems are the ones that will change themselves according to the environmental changing. The best example is human beings. We human beings adapt to something called, you could say, weather changes. Like we adapt to the uh, winters, we adapt to summers, we adapt to rainy seasons. So adaptive systems, human body is a system in itself. So adaptive, the best example is human beings or you could say any living creatures. The non-adaptive system is which are not influenced by the environment. For example, our machines, our robots, Anything does not, that does not have life is the non-adaptive system. Then comes the permanent or the temporary system. 
permanent are the ones that remain as such for example the policies the visions of any organization they are once stated when the organization is found and then they are never changed then comes the temporary system example is here in the uh, ppt it is given that a dg system is set up for a program it is disassembled after the program similarly any stage is set up and after the thing uh, program is done the stage is disassembled or we could also say that once we run a particular program for example i am using the calculator on my laptop or on my computer i am using it for some time then i am closing off that is a temporary system any system that we uses use for certain time then that closes it that is a temporary system then comes the natural and manufactured systems natural and manufactured are basically natural are those that are not that are not made by human beings right they are already existing in the universe examples are solar system and the seasonal system the man and the that is existing it may be your transaction processing system erp system manufactured system then comes the deterministic and probabilistic probabilistic system deterministic ones are those that operate in certain predictable manner when we operate them we know for example i know that if i do 1 plus 2 the answer will be 3 that means it is already determined there is a probability here the example is given that two molecules of hydrogen combined with one molecule of oxygen known makes water so what is it it is basically a determined thing then comes the probability one i have mailed someone through my gmail there is a probability that they will receive it but there is a probability that they won't even receive it this is an example of probability probabilistic the prob uh, probabilistic system that is they have an uncertain behavior then this is important the different characteristics of open system since every system that is existing inside this universe is open there is a typical flow of inputs and output across the boundary so its characteristics are also important number one is importation of energy this means it takes inputs from the outside and delivers the outputs to the system then outputs to the environment then comes the throughput throughput is basically it is the process it is a transformation process that ensures that the input that is given to the system is converted to an output output is basically the what is extracted from the system we have given it certain inputs and we are expecting certain outputs for example i have given an input as a print command to my system the hard copy that i will receive is an output then comes system as cycle of events there is a typical cycle that occurs in any system an input is given to the system and an output is received from the system this input the processor operates on that input which further produces the output these are different cycles for any system this cycle occurs and it depends upon from system to system what cycle it follows then comes the negative entropy so let's first discuss what is entropy basically all the dynamic systems tend to run down over a time resulting in entropy or loss of energy also these open system resist entropy by seeking new inputs or modifying the processes to return to a steady state increase in cost of merchandise makes the business unprofitable which could force it into a, st a state that cannot be resolved a state of disorganization also we could say an example is right now the food industry is suffering due to this pandemic so if the different restaurants or different eating points do not take up any such strategy that will help them earn end of the day that system is going to an entropy entropy is basically 
making the system to lose its energy to making the system to lose its steady nature basically moving towards a system of disorganization then feedback mechanism it is an important one we have also discussed in previous presentation previous lecture that a positive and a ne negative feedback is important for any system a positive will help it to perform more better and a negative will help us to identify the defaults that are occurring in the system and it will help us to enhance our system so positive or negative feedback both are basically responsible for enhancing the overall functioning of the system then comes the steady state steady state is basically related to entropy steady state is that the system is performing at its best the system is performing according to its basic nature according to the nature it was designed for for example i am building a calculator for performing my arithmetic operation that means it is working in the steady state once that system for uh, uh, for example there is an organization that is not putting any money in enhancing its functions so a stage will come that the organization won't be working in any steady state right and there and then that will uh, there will happen that organization may have to collapse for example if there is an educational institute if they are not doing their best to grasp the tension of to not putting pressure or putting uh, putting efforts in getting their and the educational institute has to be closed down but if they are having good results their students are getting placed students are intelligent in that organization the organization will work in a steady state then comes differentiation differentiation is basically open systems have a tendency towards an increasing specialization of functions and a greater differentiation of their components for example in any business the roles of people and machines tend toward greater specialization and greater interaction this characteristic itself offers a compelling reason compelling reason for the increasing value of the concept of system in system analysis thinking basically differentiation will make it possible for the system anal analyst to enhance the function or to enhance the to study the existing system properly and further help in enhancing each module of that system then comes integration and coordination an important thing every component or every sub system needs to work as a whole and coordinate with each other to achieve the predefined objective of any system then comes equi finality this term implies that the goals are achieved through different courses of action and a variety of paths for example i want to go from chandigarh to delhi so there will be 10 to 15 roads that i can you choose to reach my destination but i will choose the one that will help me to save petrol or diesel and which will help me to reach my destination at an early time that is what is meant by equi finality that means reaching the final stage while choosing from different paths then comes the information system what is basically an information system the a software that helps the helps to organize and analyze data when we talk about organizing of data and analyzing of data that means organizing means to keep it in a format that it can be used easily analyzing means to study it so as to produce better results so basically the purpose of making any information is to further convert the raw data into useful information that can be basically used for decision making then also 
uh, information system when we are defining it in different terms it is uh, basically an organized collection of people hardware resources software resources then the data resources and communication network that is used to collect transform and circulate the information in any organization then the different resources of these information systems are people hardware resources the software resources the data resources and the network resources and then when we say that there are general purpose and there are there are basically two categories of information system one is the general purpose the other one is specialized information systems the general ones are example are database management system and electronic spreadsheets both are easily available they can be used in they can be used in any department any department whether it is accounting whether it is the academic these systems general systems can be put into functioning in any type of department in contrast are the specialized information system that are designed for performing specific tasks for example the enterprise resource planning that is erp is basically designed to integrate the management of all the internal and external information across an entire organization or i could say that my erp system if i talk about an educational institute my erp system will be working for all the departments of my educational system it cannot be blended into any department any particular department it will be responsible for actually handling the data of all the departments then come the geographic information system which is basically used to manage and analyze the geographical data so i cannot use it for handling my accounts or handling my day to day routine data which i can easily use my electronic spreadsheet or database management system they can be used for any purpose but gis is basically used for geographical data then comes the expert system that are basically designed for solving complex problems and most of the expert systems are now based on ai technology and neural net information system number one is hardware then is software then the databases networks procedure most important among this is procedure procedures are basically will give us an impression or to how will give us guidelines how to use any system how to use that system what type of data should be entered into the system and what type of output is expected out of that system also it will help us to handle the different components or you could say it will help us to use the the different components of of the system very easily <coughs> then in the last it is written that the first four components are part of the general information technology of an organization that is hardware software databases and network this is how actually all the system in any it sector works there needs to be computer installed there needs to be software that has to be running then there needs to be a database that will be handling all the data of the organization then there is network network is essential network is the only thing that will help us to communicate that will help us to exchange data that will help us to connect to the internet then there are different types of system number 1 is Manage, management information system this is basically is an uh, basically used or basically designed for collecting of information and analyzing analysis of uh, and analysis that will facilitate access to programs and participant information it is usually designed and used for administrative purposes management information system is basically the one that will cover the planning development management and use of information technology tools to help people perform all task related to information processing and management basically it is the one that is going to provide information to support the managerial decision making processes
then is decision support system decision support system are basically designed to help the managers in making certain important decisions that are critical to any business they are comprised of different tools and techniques that will help them to gather the information analyze it and discover the different alternatives they are basically used in problems that have no input data or it is very collect very costly to collect that data for any problem then is transaction processing system these are designed to help business to process their day to day transactions for example when we talk about computer science uh, uh, the term transaction in term transaction uh, the term transaction in computer science is basically a group of logical related operation that must succeed or totally fail as a group for example if i tell what is transaction now when i request a bank to transfer 1000 rupees from my account to my brother's account transaction will actually have two parts number one is withdrawal from my account that is 1000 rupees is withdrawn from my account and 1000 ru rupees is deposited to my brother's account so this withdrawal and deposit forms one complete transactions then comes the executive information system executive information system is basically for the top management system again in this information system the dealing or the decision making is done by the executives and it will only help them to collect and analyze the data of the entire organization and also will help them to filter what is very important and very specific since top management doesn't have that much time to analyze each and everything very very properly or very nicely so executive information system is the one that is dependent upon all these three system that is tps the mis and the dss thank you